Hello everyone, Dr. Jeff Berger here talking today about fibromyalgia. So how is fibromyalgia diagnosed first of all? If you have 18 or more different sites on your body that causes pain with touch, you've got fibromyalgia. Now these pain points can be located anywhere in your body. Some common places are up here in your neck, off on your shoulders, even some down in your arms. Not to mention all the different sites that can be down your back and all the way down your legs. If you have fibromyalgia, finding 18 different sites that hurt, that isn't a problem. So what causes it? In order to understand what causes it, we need to understand how muscles work in your body. Now you have in your body two different types of muscles. One of the types of muscles we're going to call voluntary muscles. In other words, I can voluntarily move this muscle. I can tell, my brain can tell this muscle move, come up and down. That's a voluntary muscle. But there's a whole other subset of muscles called involuntary or postural muscles. And these are the muscles that work re reflexively. You can't tell the T4 muscle that attaches to the rib to move to the right or the left. It does it, just like I said, reflexively. These muscles, these postural muscles, are literally the ones that hold us up and out. All right, so what's the big deal about the muscles? If I was to work a voluntary muscle out, and I'm working it so hard, eventually it gets to a point where it just collapses. And you're not going to move that arm until that muscle heals, and you can start to move it again. Postural muscles, on the other hand, when they get so exhausted, they spasm. And everybody knows that a spasmy muscle is painful. Now, why would God design our bodies to do that? Well, if a postural muscle collapsed like a voluntary muscle collapsed, you would literally collapse and you would most likely die. So it's a very good thing that it spasm. Does it feel good? <laughs> no way. It does not. So as a chiropractor, I want to know what is causing those muscles to spasm. And here's what I see most often in my practice. It's a postural issue. It's where somebody who is working so much at a computer, or they are literally depressed that their shoulders are rounded forward like this. This is not a proper posture for your body, ever. Sure, you can do this work, but most of your time needs to be held up and out. So what does that have to do with fibromyalgia? When your body is in this position for an extended period of time, these little muscles back here, they're not designed to hold that much weight of your head forward constantly, day in and day out. So they become exhausted, and they actually become exhausted quickly. And when they come, become exhausted, they spasm, and they spasm hard, creating all these different trigger points throughout your body. So as a chiropractor, I'm going to help teach you to hold your body up and out. I'm also going to adjust the bones to figure out why you're crooked or why you're bent forward. Or imagine this, you're sitting at a computer like this all day and you even got your legs crossed. In order for your head to remain center, which is your body's top priority to keep your head center, think of all the different movements and muscles that have to work to get your head center. If your hips are off, way off, it's got 12 different places it's got to compensate in order to hold you up. And when those muscles get exhausted, they spasm. And when they spasm, you feel pain. So I have a little test for you. If you think you're suffering with fibromyalgia, here's what I want you to do. I want you to place your heels, your butt, your shoulder blades, and your head flat against a wall. And then just lift your arms up like this. If after 30 seconds of being in this posture, you're in pain, you're gonna need help to get out of this. And that's what I'm here for, to help you get this way. 